What's going on to y'all, man? Audley Stevenson for NBL Canada Live. I'm here at the floor of the Hershey Center of the home of the Mississauga Power. That's right, we're here at the press conference where the team is announcing their arrival in Mississauga. Lots of excitement, lots of energy, lots of enthusiasm about the brand new team here in Mississauga. So let's check out the press conference. I'm here with Henry Chow, the owner of the Mississauga Power. We're in a brand new facility, it's a brand new uh, start. Describe uh, your feelings right now. Oh, I'm just so excited. It's just the name Mississauga Power. It's like, so rhyme so much. It's like, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in terms of the area, uh, again, because it's a new area, obviously, and brand new start, uh, how, how do you see things unravel or unfolding for the team, like in terms of where you need to start? Oh, the main thing that we need to get Mom's in the seats, right? That's right. the key thing. But I think that we will not be have a major problem because Mississauga competition is so big and so many people love basketball. I think the most of the basketball lovers are resided in Mississauga. Mm -hmm. So I think we have the best choice pick anywhere in the country. I think this will be the best place to come. You know, the great interest in basketball is I drive around the city mm -hmm. and see all the basketball hoops that are in the driveways, etc. It shows that basketball is very popular with the young people, as well as adults. So it's a day of major step forward for Mississauga. I wish them every success, and I can assure you that I'll be a a strong supporter of their of their team and I think it's going to be exciting this facility is just a great facility uh, it's located and it's in an excellent location to attract people from not only Mississauga but the surrounding area so their uh, their success is pretty well guaranteed <laughs> guaranteed in Mississauga. See that is a lot of opportunity in Mississauga because the population, the diversity and the people love basketball. You can see all the people playing ball is a lot more from Mississauga. So you can see that that will be a good fit. <laughs> yeah. So I'm here with Paul Jones at the Mississauga Power Press Conference. Uh, the announcement of a new team here in Mississauga must be exciting. It is, I, I, and, I, and I think it's a great, a great community to come to. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's close enough to, um, you know, the, the, the big city, but it's just far away enough to have its own identity. And I think Mississauga is a great community. It's a great facility. It's Hershey Center. They've had OHL hockey in here. Uh, it's the perfect size, the perfect uh, location for Mississauga. Uh, for the team to relocate, and, and I think Mississauga really is going to embrace this team. From your perspective, uh, how important is it to be in Mississauga as close as it is to the big city in Toronto uh, for the league? I, I think it's good for the league because, it, you know, you're going to get that residual spillover from some of the major media entities. It's not that far away. Uh, you know, they'll hear about it. Um, they start recognizing some of the talent around the league. Uh, the league has really grown. I think it's done really well. And, and, and to me, it makes it easier that there isn't a long distance to travel. Oddly, you know in our business the way people are. Just make it simple for us, make it easy, and we'll jump on board. But if there's a whole bunch of work involved, then you get diminishing returns and people are more apt to say, well, forget about it. But the fact that it's here in Mississauga, and Mississauga is a great community. Yeah. Uh, think about all the athletes coming out of this yeah. area. Right. And it's become a real hotbed for not just basketball, but for sports in general. Yeah, but we're talking about the athletes coming out of Mississauga and even just the importance of, of being here. Again, we talked about that, that it almost it needs to be here, so to speak, being close to the big city. I wonder if you sort of comment sort of on, on, the, on the league overall. And we don't, in the press conference, we heard a lot about the importance of kids playing close yes. to home. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I, I talk about it all the time because I'm a prime example of it. You, you know, you. I sat on the bench all the way through high school in a good program where I learned to play, went to a university, had to wait my turn. Kind of, You kind of come into your own in your third and fourth year, and then you graduate, and it's done. And there's nowhere to go. And if you're... If you have the wherewithal, the resources, and, and you know the ability to withstand some of the cultural changes, which I didn't at that time, right. you can go overseas. Somebody can help you. Now, it was different back then. It's a little easier now. But boy, is it ever easy to be 
part of your, your team in Brampton or Mississauga or in Ottawa or Windsor or London or, you know, a place that's close to home where you don't have the major changes. Yeah, there are variables, there are changes, there's better play, uh, a, a higher level of competition, but you don't have the cultural changes. And I think it's so important to have that domestic pro league to help our kids, the Canadian kids, build, develop. Yeah, there's only a handful of spots on a roster, but when you sped, spread that throughout the league with 10 teams, now you're talking about 30, 40, 50 extra kids. And when you think about a national team, there's only 12 or 15 kids anyway, but it gives them a place to play and develop and maybe take the next step. And the opportunity to shoot for something, I think that can't be understated. The fact that you now have a goal of something to work towards. And, and even you know watching the presser today and the excitement in the room, the buzz, people are really excited about a team being here. And, and, and why not? Oddly, we always say in education, kids need to see themselves in the community. Do they have role models? Do they have something they can aspire to? You're going to see kids in you know fifth, sixth, seventh grade coming here, high school kids coming here, knowing that these guys went to a university, graduated, finished their time, and now are playing basketball right in their backyard. So it's something for them to aspire Congratulations. to. Congratulations. This is a great day for basketball here in Mississauga. Uh, the Mississauga power is here. We're looking forward to a great season. If they have power, that's important. <laughs> you got it. Thank you so much. <laughs>